So, uh, good morning, Vesa. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we are planning uh, to have uh, an awesome uh, keynote uh, in uh, less than three weeks uh, in uh, Modern Workplace Conference in Paris. Yep. Uh, maybe can you present first? Can you present yourself? Yes. So my name is Vesa Jovonen. I'm a principal program manager from the OneDrive SharePoint engineering side of the house. Um, and I, I responsible. my team is actually responsible of the developer platform of the house, but I'm actually quite connected on other areas as well. So making sure that because the other people and feature crews are using our SharePoint framework and functionalities to build their experiences, uh, we need to know what's happening on the other side of the, the SharePoint and OneDrive areas as well. Okay. So on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, is it more uh, marketing stuff or technical stuff? <laughs> good, question. good question. So <laughs> officially, um, I'm not for marketing. I have nothing to do with marketing. Um, I, I do do quite a lot of social media and community stuff because I'm, I'm the uh, community uh, person and, and kind of a partner engagement uh, person as well. So we're trying to make sure that our audience, customers and partners are aware how can they um, extend and modify their experiences in Microsoft 365 in recommended ways. And that's kind of my job on then explaining how that can be done. Yeah. So thank you for a great um, sharing on all the networks and all the communities. That's great thank to you. have you. Thank you. Um, about the keynote at Modern Workplace, uh, maybe can you uh, give us a, a short return of the past year and then explain us uh, what you will speak about? Yes, so um, so within the keynote, I can't even remember the keynote's title, so but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it was something fancy. Um, but really what we want to do within the keynote is talk about the transition uh, of the industry and the business um, yeah. and the kind of an understand why we are where we are from a cloud perspective. So how the, the products like SharePoint and Power Apps and Microsoft Teams um, are coming do we be what they are um, and I, I'm going to use my career as a kind of a logical historical steps um, I started in Microsoft in 2006 uh, so it's 13 years ago which is quite horrifying actually um, <laughs> but I started as a consultant um, and as part of this journey before I moved to the engineering I work with some of the largest customers within the world in different industry areas and I, I seen the kind of transition from the full on-premises world uh, back in 2007 we released my first time Microsoft Azure uh, actually it was Windows Azure first, and then it was renamed yeah. as Microsoft Azure. Um, so we're not going to spend too much time on the historical things, but I think the history is also interesting to understand where we are and well, how we, how the history kind of uh, made certain decisions for yeah. us, and and they, then the impact of the nowadays interest, uh, the the cloud, and what does it actually mean for uh, just examples, discussion topics, which I'm going to. Do have like a monologue and, and a few slides and discussion on things uh, is things like uh, is the cloud actually safe and which is an inter interesting discussion and what does it mean that it's a safe and safe comparing the one um, or or which services you should be using for what in the cloud which is an interesting discussion point so every single consultant actually has these discussions uh, yeah. with their customers which and, and of course I can I can spell the beans already there's no right or wrong on that decision or um, or uh, when there will be a next major version of SharePoint and how that, that will kind of impact the cloud. Um, I'm not going to spell beans, beans of that one. You will have to be on the keynote to understand uh, what we're going to talk about then. <laughs> Definitely. I think it's very uh, interesting and uh, uh, very, very uh, important journey uh, that every customer uh, should have a look on it because uh, every customer should do this journey at some point. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, many, many uh, good feedback to, to take from your experience, I think. Yep. Yeah. So there's, there's, like you said, sorry for elaborating yeah. that there's a lot of kind of learnings and, and understanding the historical things and decisions with Microsoft did and how the industry has evolved to be a cloud based industry actually explains where we are because quite often, actually, the questions what we get as a, let's say, a more senior IT persons are they make sense if you know about the history, but if you're a new person in industry, yeah. it's like, why are we doing this still? And why, aren't, why isn't Microsoft fixing this stuff? And yes, there's always a reason behind of those decisions. So, so um, after uh, Ignite, so we are just after Ignite, uh, we had a, a lot of announcement around SharePoint, Office 365, Microsoft 365. Uh, what is your perspective about the most important thing uh, that are coming in the next month or in the coming year, let's say? 
Sure. Um, it, the DICNA is one of the key announcements, um, announcement, announcement timeframes uh, for us as well in the quantitative SharePoint. There's, there's certain areas where we announce them and they will be will not be available for a few months. But as an example, the project Cortex uh, is really interesting, uh, which, by the way, we'll touch on the on the keynote as well, because the project Cortex is, is a artificial based analytics and document management services, which will be available in the cloud, um, which will be based on Azure based implementation behind of the scenes. And, and that's really, really there to provide a significant amount of additional value for the people who are then paying for the cloud based services, because in cloud we have this notion of artificial intelligence and machine learning, and we can truly take advantage of these things. Um, now, can we do that in the, in the on-premises answer, at least for now, is no, uh, definitely no. You never know what's going to happen in the future, but but um, but that's an interesting discussion point. But the project Cortex, uh, definitely one of the most interesting ones. Um, I'm personally also super close. Uh, I'm, I, I built tremendous amount of dot-com sites on top of SharePoint at some point, which we do no longer do, uh, but a global intranets, communicational intranets, we used to design those for a lot of the global customers. And so the, the modern SharePoint and modern experiences and how do we surface then the modern portals also in, in Teams and how do we combine the teams together with SharePoint for a better experience. I think there was a lot of improvements on that area as well. Yeah. So it's, it's great to see as an example that the modern communication sites, which is the modern portal in SharePoint Online, is finally, 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 it is about the time to get to the same level as classic publishing. So you can do the, the basic stuff, but then also more, um, which, is, which is really great. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's a great interesting topic because uh, we saw a lot of uh, uh, interest custom by, by customer on uh, these topics, especially at uh, Ignite the Tour in Paris uh, last, last week. So uh, I'm sure at uh, MWCP uh, there will be uh, great interest uh, for this topic. So thank you very much for coming and uh, we can't wait to see you in Paris in, uh, in a few weeks uh, right now. Thank you thank for you having me. Looking, so looking the, forward for the discussions. So. Yeah, the, so the, your, uh, your keynote will be uh, on 11th uh, December. Yes, for, yes for, uh, on yes. Wednesday, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much and see you there. Thank you, Patrick. See you there.